Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Fears to Fathom. Uh, a new Fears to Fathom game just came out. If you're unaware, I'm a big fan of the series. Posted a couple of these on the channel. This one just came out today. We're going to play it. We're going to have some fun. I don't even know what this one's really about, and I think that's the best way to go about this. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to drop a sub. Drop a comment. If you want to watch it live like the cuties underneath me, make sure to click the link in my description. It's going to take you over to my Twitch page where we record these live every single day. But without waffling, without yapping, let's go ahead and jump right into Fierce to Fathom, Iron Bark Lookout. Fierce to Fathom, episode four. Oh my God, Iron Bark Lookout. We're here, we're here, May 12th, what year? Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTube play, Fierce to Fathom, Carson's house. What? what I'm about to recount happened when I was 24, so at the time, Oh my God, that's right, by the way. The thing about these are these are all viewer stories that like these are all people who send in their scariest stories, by the way. So these are all based on true events. So somebody uploaded this, type this in. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of this bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Something so eerie about real life experiences being turned into games. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small time job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Use wasp to drive. I will use wa- We floor in that shit. Listen to the nice music playing as well. A little bit of lo-fi. Uh. Escape to read message while we drive. Oh, Mitch Scott and Kayla Nelson. I don't know who these two are. Congratu I'm going to turn the music down for a sec, though, even though I like it. Congratulations on the transfer. Feeling ready for the change? Just reaching to you to tell you that you've been assigned Tower 11. Welcome on board. This is Mitch, by the way, from Ironbark. Thank you. Heard a lot about you from Josh. Very excited to meet you soon. Just got my ID today. Your shift starts on 12th. Sounds good. I'll be there. Anything I need to know? I have your papers. Just bring your ID. Josh told me the job is not news to you. Can I ask you one question? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Damn, bro, making it all weird. Not sure how to answer that. I just enjoyed the thrill. Or the lack of it, I guess. I'm I'm sorry. I just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a gateway. For a getaway. Or to discover who they are. Only to leave without notice. Guess they're better off in a cubicle. To be honest with you, I joined Iron Horse last year, not knowing what to expect. But the blah, 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 grown up. Okay, 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 okay. Where can I park my van? Okay, where can I park my van? So you're arriving on Friday. Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from there, you'll be on foot. Damn it. And take the Gold Creek Trail from there. It'll take you a couple hours. Okay, got it. Thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Okay. And then we got Kayla Nelson. This new regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature, away from people, and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. Wish my job was really that easy, K. Okay? Yeah, by the way, nobody likes hearing their job be oversimplified. So I don't know how who needs to hear this, but when you're talking to someone about their job, don't ever oversimplify it because a job at the end of the day is always a job, okay? <laughs> that is like the most, like, that is such a turnoff when people say that shit. You're like, all right, bro, all right. Honest, I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season. Hee <laughs> hee. Like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me to talk to Josh. It's definitely the time for a change. Speaking of change, Ironbark? They are staffing me to Ironbark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah, heard they got bigger staff. Call me. With dad call me. Okay, this is my sister. This is my sister. How's it looking? Still on my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today of all days. Okay. All right. Is it late? Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No. Why? Okay. So I have a sister and I have my manager texting me. Just had to read up on it, make sure what's going on. And now we go back on our drive. I didn't even pull off to the side, by the way. I just straight up. I just straight up parked my shit. Should I kill myself? 
Okay. <laughs> Wait, that will kill me though, by the way. That will. If I crash, I will die. It's not that I mind the music. It's, it's just that it's loud. So I'm gonna turn it off for now. I appreciate you though. Oh damn, I'm in an RV. I'm in an RV, bro. I was like, what the fuck? I got a whole room in here. Kayla texting me again. Kayla, I'm driving, bro. You, I'm gonna get here like way later than I'm supposed to. I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Thanks, sissy. Appreciate you, dude. I def, I definitely will. I definitely will stop by that diner when I get a chance. He swerve it? No. You don't text and drive? Lame. No. No. I like to stay alive and keep others around me alive as well. I like to not murder people. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. I was going to pull over for gas. I got to go to the diner Kayla was talking about. Hello. I hope the person at the diner did not see that. You guys want to see my sick parking skills though? Watch this. Watch this easy reverse. Watch this easy reverse, by the way. Watch this. Watch this easy reverse. Watch this. Don't even have to look behind me. I am that good. Am I good? Did I have to actually park it? No. It's good to me. Who'd I hit? And he's just munching on his burger. How's that burger? I mean, listen to him, bro. You can hear the burger. It's good. Oh my God, I just hit you. How's that burger? This little piece of heaven. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? Um, I'm a new staffer at Ironbark State Park. You must have heard the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official reports say they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else? There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. A creature? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or a goat man. People say there's something like that living in that forest. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. Thanks, Yapatron. I'm gonna go to the diner and I'm I'm sorry again about that. It's my first time driving an RV. I'm not used to having that much junk in my trunk. But I am hungry, so I'm going to stop by for some fucking food. There's a creature in the forest taking all the hikers and campers? Well, there's a new sheriff in town. going to make sure that does not happen. Why is bro humping the food? Yo, yo, bro, stop. Yo! Bro is doing some crazy... Bro is imagining something else. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good. How about... Not too bad. Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. All right, thank you. I'm gonna sit as far away from the guy jerking off a ghost, though. Yeah, I'm not sitting next to that guy. That guy gives me the heebie-jeebies. Can I talk to everybody, though? You look a little lost. Just passing through. So where are you headed? Starting my new job at a nearby state park. Why am I giving everyone my, 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 my rundown? You wanna give them your social security number? Your mother's made a name? Oh, that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed. All right, well, then I have no business talking to you. Damn, Mega Mind! All right, I'm gonna sit in the back by myself. I don't... Okay, that's too... That's too creepy. That's too lonely. I'm gonna sit right here. Not too much in the... I should have sat... That was good. Facing the store. There we go. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yeah, I am. Let me get a... Let me get a burger and a shake. Hold the burger. Shake that at... So what can I get for you today? Uh, cheeseburger with fries, meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Oh, yes. I would like meatball sub with chicken nuggets, please. Very well. Would you like anything to drink? A strawberry solsh. Strawberry solsh. Uh, I'll take a large Coke. One large cock, please. <clears throat> Perfect. Anything else? This will be all. Thank you. No, <laughs> that will be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food as out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. You forgot my shake. So you didn't order a shake. Shake that ass. I've always had this habit of peeing before. What did he say? Had this habit of peeing before I eat? Weird habit. But I will pee. Sure. I'm down. As long as nobody leaves this creepy diner. Lock the door. I really had to pee. Hey, don't whip it out on the screen. 
Oh, look at the aim. I wish I could. Oh, you're missing a bit, bro. It squirted a little bit. To I spilled. Okay, bro. Bro said I spilled. I spilled. Mom, I threw up. All right. Well, we should definitely walk. Hey, who needs to wash her? You guys think I don't wash my hands? Wash your hands, you filthy animal. Wash your hands, you filthy animal. Motherfuckers think I don't wash my hands for some fucking reason. All right. How we doing? Nobody's murdered yet? Good. Good. This is just a regular game. This is just this is just living life 2.0. This is just life 2.0. It's not even a horror game. Thank God. Oh, if that doesn't look like a meatball sub with chicky nuggies and a large diet cock, I don't know what does. Thank you so much, Bada Bada. No? Anything else, sir? Like, damn, loosen up, shorty. It's okay. Damn. So tense. Anyways, I'm digging in. Hum, hum, hum. And if it don't sound like that, I don't want it. Okay. You didn't even use your sauce. You're not a real sauce girly. I'm a sauce girly. I am a sauce girly. I be I can't eat without sauce. I love sauce, bro. I didn't even use it. I don't even drink my diet cack. Kayla. What's up, sis? So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here. Still eating. This is so good. Oh, drink the diet cack. <laughs> am I going to eat the sauces separately too? Kayla. Told you. Hee <laughs> hee. This food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe. <laughs> you know what siblings talk about casserole recipes. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Wow, yes, I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit? Yep, send me in a bit. Do I eat my sauces? Nope. I'm not a real sauce girly. Barbara? Did you enjoy the food? It was great. Thank you, Barbara. Would you like to have anything else? Or should I get the check? Check, check, please. Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you, Bar. Thank you, Barbara. You guys think that guy's still out there that I hit with my car? I think he's still out there enjoying his burger. I hope that guy's, I hope that guy's well. First real citizen I talked to in this town that gave me the time of day. Here's the check. Your total is six. Where can I go to get a meatball sub, chicken nuggets, and a large drink for six dollars? Because I'll move. I'll move. Actually, six bucks and a 50% tip because that's only three dollars. Yes, you may have it. I spent nothing. Here you go. Don't even worry about it. You know what? Actually, 60% tip. Thanks for the generous tip. Girly, it was just three bucks, but I appreciate you. Thanks for making me feel like I'm a good Samaritan. It was just three bucks. You know what I mean? You want to kiss? Please take a seat. I'll be right with you. Hey, I already... Yo, 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 yo. Okay. Can you point me to the restroom? Yo, I already ate. Yo, she forgot I ate. Okay. Are you still jerking off the... Bro is giving some mean dome to some ghost, bro. Bro is giving some absolute sloppy boppy 620 twist to some ghost, bro. Look at him. <laughs> oh my god. Pause. Pause. Bro still munching on that burger. It's probably burger number three. Bro's hungry. Bro's hungry. What am I going to do? Hate on bro for being hungry? Now there is a problem. I think I'm stuck. Let's go! Let's go! I'm the best at driving RVs. Let's get the hell out of here. Where to next? Accident. Hey! What? Yo, what just hit me? Did I just run over a dog? 8.02 PM. Wait, did he say stop at the gate? Did he say stop at the gate? Or did he say I'm gonna meet Billy at the gate? I think he said I'm gonna meet Billy at the gate, right? Through the texts. Billy, I'm here at the iron lock. I drove my RV on the foot trail. Was I not supposed to drive my RV on the foot trail? Get my ass up. I'm not supposed to drive my RV on the foot trail. That is my apologies. Hopefully no one's going to hit me in the road, right? <laughs> I hope this isn't an inconvenience to anybody on the road. I'm sure they'll be A-OK. -okay. I'm sure this is not an inconvenience whatsoever. All right. Now we're on our fucking feet. No flashlight. Are those missing people posters? Oh, my God. They're all young, too. There's a monster out here kidnapping children. Oh. Holy moly. You scared me. I thought you were one of them. Okay. I scared you. I scared you. Don't look at me with those fucking eyeballs. One of them. One of who? Hey, Lord, have mercy. 
May Lord, not Hey Lord, May Lord. I know English. May Lord have mercy. Anyways, uh, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on. Let me check on that. Yeah, I'm hired, bro. I'm hi- Oh. I'm hired, bro. You don't take my word for it? I work here, dude. And I'm gonna find all these missing people that I know you couldn't do. Okay, why am I throwing shade to my boss already? Or my coworker? Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Thank you. Let me open the trail gate for you. Thank you. So you look like a character from a hit popular movie, Brokeback Mountain. Have you ever heard of it? I feel like you would like that. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thought I might need one. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Thank you, Billy. Appreciate you. Welcome to Iron Bar. I talked to you, Billy. Now, for our purpose, when you get to your tower, be sure to make... Your first weather report from your system, just so we know you're clocked in safely. If you need be, if need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Have a good day. Leave me alone, brother. What? Hey, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bob, cats, and bears. Nasty business. You got it. Thanks, bud. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Yeah, I don't know if he was trying to scare. Bro seemed like he was just trying to warn. I left my bag in the RV at first. Am I going back for it? Why would you tell me now? Why would you tell me now when we're already we've already walked so much? Where's my bag? Hey yo! Got my bag! All right, imagine we got all the way to the tower without our bag. That shit would have sucked. 11.32 p.m. It's late. That's late. Oh, that's my tower. It was a long hike, and it was starting to get cold now. Bro had to walk for hours to his tower. Tower 11. Okay. This is my home. This is where I'm going to be spending my nights. Ah, this is the river. I will be swipping my, swipping my shwilly out into and peeing into. Iron Bark, Tower 11. 3.2 miles to the right, Gold Creek Trail, over here. Okay. Simple enough, living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. I wouldn't think so either. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Yeah, but that also sounds pretty chill. Oh, I turned the Jenny on. But I've always had a fondness of, oh, he talks too fast. Bro, I talk fast and you talking too fast for me. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Coast is clear to me. I don't see any. What is that? I don't see anything. We good. All right, let's go inside. Oh. Oh. Yes, I will do that. Thank you. Okay, now I got all the windows up. Use my key, get inside. Thank you very much. What am I supposed to do? They said to go into the systems and, and, and report that I'm good. Rainbow 98 professional password. Check the Iron Bark Rules Flyer. Oh, fuck. I have to check the Iron Bark Rules Flyer. I don't have the password. Radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. Is that a wooden table? Oh. Can I? Oh. I can use all these things. Oh. Iron Bark 11. That's the password. All right. Let me type it. Iron Bark 11. Hey, hey. I work here. Hey, 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 hey. Um, what did they want me to do? Service reporting. Yes. Temperature in Fahrenheit. Oh, I actually have to do all this. Wind speed. Oh, my radio just turned on. New guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I'm Jacko. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. You were watching? Who is this? I'm Connor. Fire, Fire Tower, Tower 12. 12. I, I heard the homie Connor at Fire, Fire Tower 12 was going to be cool. You were watching? Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Oh shit, my fault, yo. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? 
Bro, am I going to like build a relationship with the homie Connor? We're going to become buddies and then one day I'm going to hear him die through the mic and I'm going to become depressed. Just looking for a change. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? Nope. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Thank you. I will do that. She, he said get her done. So we should probably get her done then. Um, he said get her lit, but don't I need firewood to get a fire lit? So do I need to go get firewood? Hey, uh, just to let you know, when I got here, the floor was really stained with gasoline. I don't... I... Uh, somebody came up here and started dumping gasoline on the floor. I don't exactly know who it is, but... But it's in an awkward... It's in a penis shape. The person drew two ball sacks and a cuck. Okay, does that look like a penis to you guys? Okay, I'm gonna get myself killed. Should I go look for some firewood outside? There's no firewood. No. Firewood. no. Marley, what is Marley doing? Marley? What happened to the look the person before me? Yo. Oh, storage shack. I saw where that was. I saw where that was. I saw where that was, but I can't just light up a fire. Okay, bro has never lit a fire before. What does bro think he's doing? Yeah, I think the new fucking hire set, uh, set the tower on fire, unfortunately. Oh my god, that's gonna explode and kill me. Yep, firewood. Got it. And a bunch of extra supplies over here, too, if we lose anything. Good. Good to know. Good to know. We got a little bit of everything. Let's see what we use, though. So we use the thing to get the wind speeds. We use firewood. We use binoculars. I don't know what the fuck that is. Bug spray? Bear spray. Bear spray. Okay. I got my firewood. Uh, bro, unfortunately, like I said, does not know how to light it. So it's going to take a second. Burning it down. No, 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 no. It's not going to be burnt down. It's not going to be burnt down. Because I work here. And I know what I'm doing. Okay. As pretty and as pretty and clean as I as I left as I came into it as. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. I see it. I see the smoke. Yep. I didn't. Thanks for telling me everything though, Connor. He's bro is really helping me out. I appreciate you, Connor. Um. Well, I need that. I need that beeping to stop. No, let me get to it. Better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Yes, sir. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. No, no, I have already disappointed my parents every day. Thank you. Okay, so we have to get the temperature, the wind speed, the weather condition, the number of hikers assisted. I got that answer. Reported by Jack. <laughs> Jacko. Okay. Um, temperature and wind speed. I don't know where to get temperature, but I do know where to get wind speed at. Okay, who made a mess in my house? Who made this? Do what is this, a dog? What am I looking at? Okay. Let's go get the wind speed. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, but I can't see it, though. Wait, there we go. 19 knots. All right. Where the fuck is the temperature? What do you even use to determine the temperature? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Gamers. What's Fahrenheit on the right? 10. Oh. 46.1. My bad. Had to click it. 46.1. Submit. I wasn't sure if I'd put the right weather condition. Oh. <laughs> oh, gotta guess. Gotta guess. Okay. Yes, I did it. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Thank you, Yapatron. Signing off. You have a good night, you guy. Thanks. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Alright. What was that? That was kinda sexual. Well, why did he say that like that? Over and out, buddy. Listen, Connor. Please don't hit on me right now. Now I get to go to sleep. Let's go to bed then. 
Oh, I always close the boards outside. I literally left them open. Close the door. Drop the flashlight. We don't need it anymore. Let's go the fuck to sleep. Let's go the hell to bed, dude. Long ass first night. Took us forever to learn how to read the temperature and shit. He wants to kiss. It sounds like it. What? Someone calling me on the radio? Yo, 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 yo. What's going on? I'm, I'm here. Yo. Connor? Connor. I had to pee. Okay. So, bro needs to pee a lot. You don't care about Connor? Where do we pee? Wait, where do you pee? Just go back to bed. I still had to pee. Where? On my first night, being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Oh, we're going to just trinkle it over the plants and the and, and the and the hikers. Just let it spray. They're going to be like, whoa, the weather report said it was clear. I didn't know it was raining. Damn. 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 Bro peed. Now that is a verb, if I've ever seen one. Bro, peed. Oh my god, get your ass back to bed, bro. Loud ass fucking long ass tinkle. Bro really wet his whistle before going to bed. Night two. Now this is people ask me why I work this job. It's because these is when it's all worth it. Just take just a sip of my morning Joe. Just staring over the view. I peed right over here the other day. Peed on some hikers. They didn't even know. Thought it was water. They filled up their cups with it. I feel bad. Take a photo. Let's take a photo. Show our sister. Oh, now that's a photo. Right? Here. Boom. Good photo. Take another sip. Okay. Space to get off. Excuse me. Now what do I do? Do I just got to check for everything around? Do you copy? Hey, Connor. Yep, I do. Let me copy. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Just throw my dish on the side. I'm here, bro. I'm here. What's up? Tower 11. Do you copy? Yeah, I'm right here. Son of a bitch. Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Oh, what? that really riled his trousers. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Uh, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Hold on, homie. Yo. My binoculars are crazy. I can really zoom in. I need you to confirm. Yeah, c c confirm my will. There you is smoke. smoke up north? Yes, sir. I do. I do see the smoke up north. Here you go. You spot that white smoke up north? Yep, I see it. It appears to be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Is it safe? Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Over and out. Wait, I thought I was gonna spend my whole time inside of the inside of this office. I didn't think I would actually have to go anywhere. Yeah, let them, let them, let them. Oh, I'm spraying. Wait, if I spray my room with it though, then no bear can come in here. Think smart, not hard, guys. Work smart, not hard. Make sure to get it all up in your own eyes, too. Because if I spray myself with it, the bear can't come in here. Idiot. It's like garlic. It's like garlic if it, uh, to a vampire. Is there a trail for me? Oh, yeah, the trail. Okay, so it was the trail I was looking at. If a bear comes over here... Hitting them with it. Hitting them with a song, too. Hitting them with a little jingle. Oh, that... Oh, caution! Bear in your area. Yeah, be careful. There's bears. There's hot bears that want to fuck in your area. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Yo, why did we not bring our flashlight? And where are the hot bears that want to fuck in my area? No camping? Filers will be sighted and moved? Well, I'm sorry, will they be that moved? Looks like you fucking killed them. Oh, who's camping here? Hey, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kayla, 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 Kayla. She gave me the recipe. Oh, shit, all the... Oh, no. All my texts are barely going through. Sorry, just got home. You will not believe how easy this one to throw together. Send pics when you do. Jack, are you okay? Hope everything is okay. Reply when you see this. Yo, I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector is very good service. View from my tower. And thanks for the recipe. Might try it tonight. Yeah, who's camping here? Hey, bro? Is it Jason? Voorhees? Okay, 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 okay. 
Who's whistling? I thought I heard footsteps. Emergency closure trail obstructed? Who's there? Who's whistling? Show yourself. The area beyond that site was closed. Bro, you work here. You work here. You're a lot. It's close to the put. It's close to the person who's not supposed to be there. Bro, you can go. This is your job. I'm going to try to talk to him one more time before I go back. Hey, oh, shit. Sorry. Here. It's just in case you run into any bears. Let me just. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Here you go. No bears will fuck with you. And you know what? Let me get it all over your food and shit, too, and your coffee. Just so the bear doesn't eat your coffee and your food. Here you go. Making everything nice and sanitary for you. I'm going back now. I knew I needed to put out put out campfire before heading back to the tower. Well, I wish you said that before. How the fuck we put out a can uh, fire? With water. My hands are full. Damn it. Water. I need water. You have to put water inside the pot for there to be water inside the pot. Okay. Hopefully he did. Imagine this poor guy has been freezing for the whole week he's been camping out here. He finally just got a fire started. He went to go grab some more firewood. Sorry, Buster. No camping in my neck of the woods. No camp in here. Sorry. Just in case any bears want to camp with you. Just in case they want to roast any marshmallows. Make sure they can't. I'm out. I'm out, bro. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Ah. Sorry, I moan out of fear sometimes. What do you mean, what might have happened? What do you mean, what might have happened, bro? Nothing's wrong. Everyone's fine. No one's died. There's no blood on our hands. We're doing our job. Listen, bro. I don't get paid enough to care. I just get paid enough to be here. All right? So, unfortunately for the homies, I am not risking my life for anybody. I'm going back to my fucking house and chilling. Tower 12, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Hot bears in your area that want to fuck? Talk about campsite. Are you kidding me? Uh, oh shit, bro does not like people camping in the woods. Son of a bitch. Oh shit, Connor. They never learn, do they? Nope, nope, fuck them up. Nope, wait, what do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Hey, bro, they're just camping, bro. It's okay. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Oh. Anything else you notice in those woods? Mention scream? I didn't hear somebody scream. I heard somebody whistle. Okay, I'm gonna mention. I didn't hear a scream though. A scream must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It was a manly scream. It must have been a manly red fox. They have a pretty manly sounding scream at night. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area. Don't act brand new. We've been talking to the locals. About a month ago. What does that have to do with campers? Okay, attitude. What happened to those kids? I don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Yeah, because people are freaks. They like going to scary shit for some reason. I can't relate. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. You wish that there was an entity? Okay, now you guys are filling me in on this lore. Why does it seem more serious than you guys are making it out to be? That's unsettling. Guy, I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Where's the answer for absolutely I do? Oh, absolutely not. Right. Anyway, thanks for staying vigilant. Thank you. I thought that said vagina. I gotta contact the authorities. Thanks right. for Make staying sure vagina. First thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Yeah, yeah, fuck them. Camping in the woods? How fucking dare they? If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated, buddy. Do. Over and yeah, I'm like the lazy co-worker who's just here to do my hours, and Connor is the guy who goes above and beyond, and I have to pretend like I'm just as good as Connor, just so he doesn't hate me, right? I have to pretend like I'm a good co-worker. 
Connor, I don't give a fuck, brother. I don't give a shit. Over and out. What do I do now? Can I go to bed, bro? Oh, I gotta do my, my monthly reports. Kayla? Kayla, what's up? Oh, not delivered. I think they only deliver when I'm down there. I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got home to. That looks good. Pasta, pasta, pizza, pasta, bake. Mom made the same casserole recipe today. Nom nom, hee hee. How old is my sister? Saying shit like nom nom, hee hee. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go get the nightly reports that we need to do real quick. What are we looking at today? 17, less windy than yesterday. 17 and 47.5. 17 and 47.5. Five. Uh, yep. No, I meant it's cloud. There we go. Bro does not do his job. Bro guesses. Bro, bro puts what he feels is the weather. Okay. Well, I did my job. I heard some dude whistling. I'm scared. I'm going to close all my shits and I'm going the fuck to sleep. I don't want to do this anymore. Hey, I don't want to be out here. Close, 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 close. Boom, boom. Go. Oh, I'm scared. What's out here with me, bro? Why are there fucking kids missing all the time? Go to sleep. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Oh, well, lucky for you. I got the fridge stock, tell me. I need to check the ingredients. Let's see. I gotta make it. You're making me make the pasta? Uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese. Dish. Oh, uncooked pasta is all I'm missing. Where's uncooked pasta? Ahaha! That looks fucking horrible. That looks fucking horrible. All right, listen. I take care of myself. I'm a grown man. I know how to make my own food. You guy. You got me? Yeah, bro. Can I have a second? I'm cooking lasagna. What is it? Just reported their ass to the authorities. Got him. What do they say? Don't worry. Okay, that's relieving. Hopefully. Hit the sack, and then I'm gonna play with mine uh, after I'm done eating. Thank you, Connor. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Connor, be honest. Have you ever finagled with your meat inside of the tower? Cause I'm. Is that allowed? Am I allowed to do that? Cause listen, if I'm gonna live here, okay. <laughs> All right, Connor. Enough! The perfect timing. I just remember the smell of the fresh sizzling cheese. Mmm. Delicioso. How do I eat the delicioso? How do I eat the delicioso? Damn! We're taking the whole lasagna? We're taking the whole tray to bed? Straight off the oven? Yeah, that's what living on your own must be like, and I can't wait. I can't wait. I cannot wait to experience this. Go to sleep with my lasagna plate. Yes! Yes! Um, a lot of slurples in my freaking ear, dude. I was already full. Well, let's not say already like you didn't fuck up half the container, buddy. Let's not say already like you didn't just fucking down 3,000 calories of fucking lasagna, pal. Put that in the fridge, let's go. Eh, we'll take care of that shit tomorrow. I'm sure it'll survive. It's cold as fuck in my room anyways. Go to sleep. It was getting cold, though. Thought I'd get wood stove lit. Y'all never been lit unless you've been wood stove lit. That shit's crazy. All right, I'll go. With no flashlight and no bear spray is kind of crazy, but I expect nothing. I expect nothing to happen right now. What is that? What is that? Yo, what animal knows how to walk and whistle? Nah, fuck that, fuck that, I'm out. I'm out, OG. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm not doing that. Hell nah, baby. Hell nah. Get the fuck out of here. Pee all over everything. Uh... Grab the matches. Go. What the fuck are you doing? Did it work? Nice. Nice. And I gotta draw another penis. There's one. Testicular sac. There's the other testicular sac. And the final. Piece de la resistance. 
<laughs> Chef's kiss Picasso. By the way, we're not waking up. The fumes of the gasoline all night going in our head. Yeah, we're fucked. I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. There was something very strange about that night. Who's out there? Oh, I dropped my flashlight! Who's out there? Did he just try to... Did he just try to open my door? Hey! Hey! Yeah, I'm awake now, Buster! the fucking shadow bro is he's there he's there he's there yeah 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 buster yeah buster try something What are you doing? How did I not die the first time? Okay, grab this. What the fuck? I don't know what to make of it at the moment. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. I'm gonna make it seem like I'm sleeping. After the door's been swung wide open, every single light in existence has been turned on. It's fucking over, buddy. It's over. He knows we're in here. We're fucking dead. Connor, do you copy? I'm saying wake up. Wake up, Connor. I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door, buddy. Wait until morning. He put a demon skull outside my door. Okay. Kids, that was a six foot seven man outside my fucking door about to kill me. I don't think these kids are mess I don't think these are kids messing around. Okay, this is serious. You don't understand, do you? Okay. Alright, thanks, Connor. Thanks so much, buddy. By the way, Connor, when you die and he puts your head on a stick, I'm not shedding a single tear. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. Try to get some sleep, Jack. But we're not. I'm not saying nothing back to you. Connor didn't make any sense. Fuck Connor. All my homies hate Connor. But there's not much else I could have done in the dark. Well, then let's light this bitch up. Is my door locked? Jesus. I uh, okay. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Hide. Why? Just go to bed. Just go to bed. I don't just go to bed. That means bro's going to be in my fucking room. That means that's not the first night. That means it's not the only night, bro. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. You know, listen, like... Think about in the world how much open woods area there is. Like, you're telling me that there isn't some sacrificial rituals going on? There is. I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the tower, or by scanning the densities of trees all around me. My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Clean your lens? You know, I didn't want to say, 
I did think it looked dirty, but I wasn't gonna. I, listen, how Jack keeps his 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 area is how Jack keeps his area. Okay, I wasn't gonna talk shit to the homie. Is that a flare? Does somebody need help? What is that? Space to go back. Wait, what is the flare? Hello, Conrad, Conkledor, come here. I have something to tell Hello? you. Yeah. Is anyone there? Oh, look how he sounds all scared now. I'm gonna tell him whatever he saw was fake. I don't care if he saw somebody die. It's fake. I, I need help. Oh, you're not Connor. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is my job. Hello. Please, someone answer. Yeah, I'm trying. Hello. You're not Connor. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Yeah, this is Jack FM playing the best radio hits. What can I play for you today? Oh, thank goodness, uh, I'm lost and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. Okay, take a deep breath. Okay, okay. <sighs> thank you. Now, what's the situation? I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. A and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. That's a big fuck up. I think you're screwed, bud. I think, I think I'm lost. <laughs> what if the professional that is their job is to help you said that shit to you? I don't know, bud. I think you're just screwed. What is your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Bro said he's surrounded by trees. Thanks for that. I thought shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. Well, do you have any more? All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Not a game like me? this again. Not a game like this again. Oh, let me scan the map and get back to you. No. What do I do? I don't... Uh, hello? Y yeah I don't... Uh, are, are you still there? Oh god, buddy. Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. I don't know what I'm looking at, friend. You said both of these trails look very similar? He's right here. At the pick- at the- at the Gold Creek Trail. Buddy. To get back to civilization. Go right. Oh yeah. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Take the right trail. Honest, I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so. Yep. Right one it is. Right one it is. There we go, buddy. Okay, go. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. Thank God I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I know what at least I'm here, right? Because if I didn't know what I was doing, you you'd be dead. Hope you reach back to the trailhead safely. I'm right here. What do you mean? I hear you. What? I hear your whistles. That's not me. That's not me. That's what? not me. What? That's not me. I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. What do you mean? How many times I gotta tell you? That's not me. That's not me. You're freaking me out. I didn't order pizza. Oh my god, bro. Somebody's dead because of you. Somebody, listen to me. Listen to me, Billy. Somebody just died because I couldn't tell him to run. Because you fucking interrupted that. Holy moly. What took you so long in there? I thought you were the Grim Reaper. I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker that you fucking interrupted. At this hour, may the god be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm gonna pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Give it to me, bro. Give it to me. Don't ever come back.
What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You keep talking about the bobcats and bears. This is the second time you've talked about the bobcats and bears. I can handle myself if it's only bobcats and bears. Are you hiding something? You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal. And there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Like, you're telling me he doesn't want to fuck, bro. He, Dude. Buddy. Listen. Listen, I don't know how to explain this to you. I'm not interested, bro. Listen to him. He wants, he wants a piece of me. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. Okay. Alright. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything alright? Oh my god. Yeah, do you want to know something creepy? I found a demon skull. Oh lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before clean it up? I didn't think about that. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks. Thanks. Wait! Wait, but what about... Bro, fuck the supplies right now. What about the homie? Are you still there, bro? I'm sure he used his context clues. <laughs> And after me saying it wasn't me multiple times, he ran away from the whistly shadowy figure. I'm going to say he did. I'm going to say he did, and I trust that he did, for real. I don't know what the fuck's in these supplies right here, but I'm just going to leave it alone. What do I do, just go to bed now? I was too hungry to go to bed without food. You always just got to yap and eat, huh? Always just got to eat. Hum, 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 hum. Alright, bro, you are making this... Why is your lasagna so wet I mean don't get me wrong lasagna is a very wet food but like yours is like soak city I had to report for the night oh fuck me I forgot this is a brand new night number of hikers assisted one reported by jack off I'm gonna just you know play around a little bit maybe they'll think I'm funny <laughs> wind oh wind Jack off! <laughs> okay. okay. Alright, well, my report is in, so I'm going to bed. It was getting cold, I thought I... You motherfucker! You motherfucker! Okay. Alright. You are just such a little princess. Oh, I don't want to freeze to death. Oh, I need to eat because I'm hungry. Like, oh, come on, dude. What are you going to tell me? Next you need water to survive? I just, I'm just, I'm not even going to spend time in here. Oh my god! <sighs> you just gave me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Who are you? No need to be alarmed, I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi. The new guy everyone's been talking about. Nice to meet you, man. So do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Right, we rely on information about fire sightings. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. And sometimes, disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. I should get back to the tower now. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember, Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack! 
That guy gave out the creepiest vibes. Yeah, he also made me fucking pee myself, so at least we won't have to pee before going to bed. I want it extra hot in here tonight. I've had a rough day, and I'm very sleepy and tired. So I'm gonna make sure that this fire burns all night long. Okay. Lights off. I'm in there, bitch. Why is Connor always on my dick? What? You there? Yeah. Oh my god. What the what the fuck does Connor want? Yeah, Conrad. What's up? Now. Right here. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? I don't know, dude. Living life. What are you, my fucking girlfriend or something? Went down to get firewood. <laughs> Ran into Silas downstairs. Oh wait, I want to see what he says about Silas. Please tell me he works here. Please tell me he works here. The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower. Just about yesterday. What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. Yep, 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 good. Good, 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 good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy because I needed another reason to jump off this fucking tower. I needed one more and he just gave it to me. It closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair cost was deemed too costly. Alright, thanks, the Apatron. I just want to know about Silas. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding. Which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who the fuck did I just talk to? Look. You and these fucking goons playing pranks on me. Connor. Connor. I'm gonna kiss your mom on the lips if you don't help me. He knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? I don't know. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Yeah, I think that's strictly forbidden at any fucking workplace. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. What if I shoot him? Is that an option? Sure. Me too. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Okay, Connor. You don't get a good night from me. I'm sorry, but Connor does not get a good night from me until he believes me and understands the shit that I've went through so far. But shit is so hunky-dory in Tower 12. Everything's nice and sweet and cute in Tower 12, but the moment you head over to Tower 11, all of a sudden Satan and his minions come out. I'm going to bed. I'm, I can't. I can't do this, bro. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to reset the day tomorrow. Have a good old day. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed to, that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would change soon. Two nights later. You got a minute? What is it? I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Oh, cool. Upgrading from... Windows 98 to Windows 99. Wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Okay, thank you. No more snoopers, I guess. What is it about? Well, they say they've optimized the reporting software, improved the communication system, and some much needed security patches. Okay. If you ask, it all looks the same to my eyes. Yeah, feel you there, brother. Feel you there. How do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology Boomer! We got a boomer. Connor's a boomer. These computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. If only you knew, Connor. If only you knew what the anyway, future held. For now, use the console to run the new system update. Yes, sir. Sure a young man like you can figure it out. Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate you, Conrad. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Conkledor. Okay, um... I guess I could figure it out. Listen, I'm a Twitch streamer, okay? So my job is on the computer. Let me show you guys something. First, we're gonna go to console. Then, we're going to type help, okay, because I need it. And then I'm going to type in update. I'm going to type check update, actually, because I need to know what update to do. Yes, package code 93 something something something. Okay, update. Enter the package code 434-6084. Quick maths. Boom. Package found. 
looking for serviceable lines. Serviceable lines. Busy lines. Please enter an active line. That 40, that, that, that 5487 calling my name on the low, so I'm gonna type that. Hey, you turned my computer from green, uh, from blue to green. Oh. Oh. Is that a power out? Please no. Yep, power was out. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Well, that's fine, because I'm sure it went out due to natural causes and not from some tomfoolery. So I'm going to go out with my bear spray, because I'm scared. And I'm going to go turn the power back on, because the generator is literally just right down there. And it should not be scary. It should not be a problem. It should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's a bit chilly out here, bro. The rain's going a little crazy. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. My hair is soaked, bro. Generator ran out of gas. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to go grab the gas. I got drenched in the rain. It's okay. I'm just going to grab the gas canister from in here. And load up the generator again. Just, you know. I'm not scared, I'm just looking around the area. As a park ranger, I always gotta be vigilant. Always. Always gotta know what's going on. Okay, let's dump it in. Good. Good, good. I'm gonna grab my bear spray now. And I'm gonna leave that gas canister there so I can always come back to it. Hopefully it doesn't load back into the shack. I really have to pee before going back up. Oh, this is another hiding spot. This is another hiding place. Okay. Time to tinkle. Hey! The pee is loud! I'm gonna get caught from peeing. Am I aiming my pee? Yeah. Bro hit everything but the toilet. I mean, bro did not get it in the toilet. The vibes are vibing right now. I'm not gonna lie. Nothing, nothing too bad is going on. I feel a lot safer. And chill. There we go. There we go. End the night. End the night. End the night. One week later. So we've been vibing for a whole week. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there was no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. I'd be talking to myself a lot, too. I'd just be in the grocery store just mumbling. Another one. Another one. Another what? I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one, Jack. Jack, Jack, I need you to wake up. All right, bro. You copy? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting up. I'm getting up. Let Jack wake up, bro. Get off my dick for a second, Connor. What? Jack, you copy? Why are you still up? Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass. Oh, here we go. Okay, what else, Connor? Now I'm seeing this. Oh. Oh. What are you seeing? Is this something creepy? I hope the boogeyman comes and guts you. Seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got oh. a camper. Oh. to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Yeah, let me have a look, bro. Let me have a look. You said from the west side? West side? Okay. West side is... Um... Oopsies. What? You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's really nice of you to do that. They don't run away this time. Take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Don't take me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Connor, I'm gonna kiss your fucking mother. I'm gonna kiss your mother because you want to be so fucking difficult. Okay. That's it. I think. What? I didn't know what to make of it. One thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Well, where's our phone? Space to take photo. Oh my.
<gasps> They're gone! They're gone! Did I leave the flash on? Why did you do that? Why did you leave the flash on? What? 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 Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, he heard! He saw! He saw! He saw! He knows the- Hey! No! No, 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 no! to make a run. Huh? huh? No! 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 <sighs> Where do I go? Make a run? Mm -hmm. Running down the trail. Running down this trail. Huh? Look, 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 guys. Look. Look how freaking creepy this is. Look, look at this little freak. Look at this little freak. Look, look, he thinks he's so... Hold on, let me see him. Let me see him. Bro thinks he's up to something good. We gotta run. We gotta run. Okay, we're gonna run on the count of three. One, two, three. Run! Huh? Hey, wh what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh! I had to make a run. I had to make a run. Why was he looking in between the blades of grass? Like I'm like some two inch like little quarter or something, bro. Check the porta potty, idiot. What are you looking? He's like looking around under his shoe and stuff. Like I'm two inches tall, bro. Look inside the porta potty, moron. Oh my God, Billy, Billy, Billy! You don't know what I just went through, man. You don't even know what I just. It was luck. Billy. Hey. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's behind me. I hope he gets hit by a car. I hope he gets hit by a car. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Open. Close. Can't, can't get me in my car. As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. None of them believe me. None of these fucks believe me. 
Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though my even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. This is a real story, by the way. This is somebody who, they, they this is what they experienced, bro. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Oh my god, was that it? Yo! Survive through the fourth episode. Yo, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.